Welcome to the Critics Consensus with yours truly, Luke Wazikevich. I'll be guiding you through the danger zone of movie reviews by comparing critic scores to audience scores to try to figure out who is right and who may be wrong. And with all that said, lights, camera, action. As stated before, I am your host, Luke Wozniakiewicz, a self-proclaimed movie critic and a rabid film fan. Top Gun Maverick, the sequel to the wildly popular successful 1986 film Top Gun, flew into theaters in the summer of 2022. This high-paced action film starred the beloved Tom Cruise reprising his role as Maverick alongside a young, talented cast, including Miles Teller as Rooster, Goose's son from the first film, Val Kilmer returns as Iceman, also, Glenn Powell joins the cast as Hangman. John Hamm also decides to join the party as Cyclone. Pete Maverick Mitchell is where he belongs, back at the training ground that he once was 30 years prior. He continues to push the envelope as he encourages test pilots and dodges the advancement in rank that would ground him. Training a detachment of graduates for a special assignment, Maverick must confront the ghost of his past and his deepest fears, all accumulating in a mission that demands the ultimate sacrifice from those who choose to fly. Honestly, I had a fantastic time with this film. I was trapped to my seat for more than over half of it. Everything from the dog's fight to the final suicide mission run was everything to me and it was full of action and it really just kept me entertained. Pushing all the controversy of Tom Cruise being de-aged aside for this film, I thought that it was nice to see an old familiar face return from the franchise because this new film does have a lot of new blood injected into it. Overall, I thought that this film was an honest, fresh breath of air. You know, most of the Hollywood remakes and reboots over the past couple of years has been, to say the least, lackluster. With all that being said, I'm giving a rating of 95% to Top Gun Maverick. This film is honestly a welcoming surprise. I thought that the first film was great, but this 100% exceeds my expectations. I would recommend this movie to anybody who likes fast-paced action. Critic and audience scores were, were nice to cop Top Gun Maverick. Sadly, they reported old Top Gun, giving Ma Top Gun Maverick a 96%. Niall Brown from Movies in Focus stated, So why did Top Gun Maverick strike such a chord with audiences? It's a film about feeling relevant about a changing world. Parenthood, friendship. It resonates. Giving it a 4 out of 5. I couldn't agree more with Niall here. This film does make $1.5 billion in counting at the box office, so it definitely had to struck a chord with some part of the viewing audience. Chase Hutchinson with The Inlander said, If a more cheesy sensibility is what you're looking for, then you'll really light enjoy the hell out of this. Giving it a 1 out of 5. This just shows that at the end of the day, people can form their own opinions and do not have to like the same things. That's why we're critics in the first place. The audience scores were shocking, giving the movie a 99%. Ryan H., a user on Rotten Tomatoes, said, One of the greatest movies ever produced in the last decade. Truly fantastic acting, storytelling, and action. It met beyond my expectations and couldn't have been a better sequel for the original film. This film will go down in history as one of the top, top films ever made, giving it a perfect 5 out of 5. I think there is something genuine about audience scores, as I said in last episode, because most of the time it's just a aspiring movie critics like myself, or people that just want to watch movies and have some fun. This is a segment at the end of the show where we call Who Was Right, where we discuss if the critics or the audience score is correct for the movie. Both scores being so close together, I think for the sake of them being so close, I'm going to say that both the critics and the audience score for, were correct for this film. So, all in all, movies should just be fun for everyone, and that exactly is what Top Gun Maverick achieved. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time. Thank you for listening to the Critics' Consensus. And in case I don't see you again, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs>